choosing what we want, deciding and then designing. Very easy, very easy. Got it? Okay. So, you will be able to decide on theme, shape and structure, furniture, the number of levels, the color scheme you want, as well as enhancements and add-ons, all that good stuff. Yes, and while your new home is being built, you will be staying in the home tree. Moving on, just a little disclaimer that I'm going to have to have you sign. So, house design is different from wing design. There are some things you can customize and others you cannot. For certain rooms, we have sets that come with furniture depending on the theme you choose, okay? So nothing is permanent. Everything can be changed over time due to preference and change of preference, alrighty? So we just need you to read this. Grab a little signature from you, okay? Here is a pen. Just right there. Thank you very much. Okay, so moving on. All homes have a bedroom, a bathroom, uh, a living area, as well as a workroom, depending on your talent, a kitchen, and then um, there's also aspects to each home so every fairy has wings but sometimes they get wet in the rain or perhaps a fairy doesn't have wings so there are stairs and ladders and certain precautions we take to get into your home just in case your wings aren't working yes we think up everything so i'm going to give you some examples of different houses fairies have different little hideaways the names. We have a knot hole nest, a cozy burrow, a starlight spire, a sun glow cottage, a lotus loft, a streamside suite, a snowflake estate, a tinker teapot, a blossom bungalow, a crystal cottage, a moss wall cottage, or a green leaf tower.
based off of their theme. So gemstone fairies usually go with a gemstone theme. Water fairies usually go with kind of like a water aquatic, either ocean or riverbank theme. As well as the animal fairies and tinker fairies and bonnie fairies. Uh, most people go off of their wing design, but we do not have to do that. We don't have to do that. But here are our basic themes. Celestial theme, our tree theme, which makes it feel like you are floating in the forest, basically. We also have our beach theme, kind of an ocean theme. Flowers, this is more water based. Uh, an animal, a little knot hole, cozy burrow theme. The animal fairies love this one. And then a mossy kind of forest floor theme with a bunch of ferns and vines. It's very cozy, cozy. Do any of these pique your interest? We can come back and make a decision later, but okay, you like the celestial theme. That makes sense. That makes sense because of your wings. And the forest floor theme, okay, that is a crowd favorite. Um, any others? Let's pick one more. The gemstone. Okay. Okay, so let's move on to beds. It's very important you pick out the bed you would like. So we have a bunch of different options. We have our standard canopy bed that you can add any designs to, like vine or cobwebs or Queen Anne's lace or flowers or mushrooms. You don't have to have a canopy bed, but we also have sunflower beds and seashell beds, or you can opt for a lovely leaf hammock. So pillows and cushions are made from flower petals and dandelion fluff. So that is, um, we can't really do do anything different from that unless you're allergic to dandelion fluff then we can do um, feathers or what else is there um, just like bark but that's not very popular because it's not very comfortable we like to use dandelion fluff yeah. so we have our sunflower bed here as well as a mushroom or poster bed a vine canopy bed, which is actually behind me. A seashell bed. And our leaf hammock. So, do any of these pique your interest? It doesn't have to be a sunflower bed. We also have lovely lotuses that close up. You like the canopy bed? Okay. Let's do the canopy bed. And anything you would like to add on to the canopy bed. You want to relate it to your theme once we pick a theme. Okay. Theme. Got it, got it, got it. Cute. I'll put that aside. We can decide. So now let's pick some chairs. You only get a few chairs because there's not that much space. We like to keep things confined and cozy. Most fairies just sleep uh, in their houses because we are busy, 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 busy. So these are the basic designs we have and I want you to pick two. And again, these will be um, decorated with your theme. And later on we get to pick out what type of wood you want, colors, stuff like that. So I don't think about that right now. So which one? We have a rocking chair. Kind of a classic design right here. Vintage. A easy foldable chair if you want to put it 
side and there are two big doors that swing open. Lots of fairies like this design because they keep it open and kind of you can go in and out and other fairies can go in and out. We have a celestial doorway. Most This is only um, for celestial fairies because they have the power to open it and close it. It's kind of a wall of stars and gemstones but not gemstones. It's very cosmic. It's like a cosmic door. The celestial fairies love it. I don't understand how it works, but um, I just build it. I guess I should know how it works. We have a smaller door. So, very ornate though with a little window and you get two candles on either side. Lots of flowers on the outside. Different dried plants. And then you can also get your name and talent uh, inscribed on the bottom. Very cute. And then our last door is a simple design, just with some sycamore leaves on top, right here. So do any of these pique your interest? You like the celestial doorway or this one? Well, I actually do have an example of that one. It's kind of just like a mini design. So this is what it could look like. Very cute. You have your single lantern here, as well as little mushrooms, stairs that lead up to it, a little overhang to protect you from the rain, some stones, and then a sturdy um, wooden door and the wood is of your choosing, so this might help you make a decision. But I do see you liking that cosmic door, huh? Well, we can decide on two doors if you would like. If you would like to add a second back door, it makes it a little risky for predators, but if you really want that cosmic door, we can do both. Okay. <laughs>
moving on. We just have a couple more slides to get through. Okay, we're almost done. So, how many windows would you like? The base number is around five is kind of the average number, but we can do more. You want a lot of windows? Okay, so let's do Let's do six for now, okay?